I am Warren. And I am Erica. And together, we we are are We Sail. Sail. A year ago, we left on a journey of a lifetime, sailing around the world living the gypsy life. We have been living a dream that most wait a lifetime to do. Join us as we travel the world one nautical mile at a time. Now we're just anchored off right on the shelf and probably around 9 o'clock, 10 o'clock tonight we will lift anchor and set sail for Rotan. 9 o'clock tonight. So Overnight sail. And we should be there. Is that our first overnight sail? Just us? No. Just oh, us? Oh, just us? No. Okay. No, not at all. Because we did St. Martin, two BVI's. Okay. Um, what else? We've done a, I think we've done a few overnight sails, just us. So we're heading off to Rotan tomorrow. Should be there for a couple days or until a northerly wind comes and Can sweeps us, us off to Jamaica. So towards Jamaica. Towards Jamaica and for Colombia for Christmas. Yay! Good morning. It's uh, 6 o'clock in the morning. Beautiful sunrise. We've been sailing since 9 a.m. last night. We're a couple hours outside of Rotan. We'll get to spend couple days watching for a good window wind in the right direction and the right stream to get us to out away from Nicaragua mainly and to Colombia for Christmas it's okay it's okay I'm gonna hand it to you. That is yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. God. <laughs> Look at that rod bend. Oh my god, that's Look at that big. rod bend. I put the cedar plug on, and two minutes later, I got a monster. <laughs> oh my god. <sighs> this one's a monster. I think you should just stop the boat. Stop it, okay. Yeah. doing everything I can right now to hang on to this guy. I know. Oh. Ah! oh, I saw a flash. Okay, babe, I'll turn it over to you. Oh my god, what is it? Oh my god. You will not give it up. What is that? Is that a tuna? Here we go. I got a yellow bit tuna! <laughs> <laughs> 
we're gonna have sushi tonight. Doing some sushi. Sashimi with the yellowfin that we caught. So I cut cut up some today and I bagged everything. But I cut these ones for sashimi. Alrighty. <laughs> Come here, tuna. I would not be hired by Hapa Sushi. <laughs> no. That's okay. Mm. Mm. Wow. Fresh damn sushi. Mm. That is amazing. Boom. How about it? What a fight. My arms are still sore. <laughs> Today we're going to explore a little bit of Rotan. So we're going to rent a scooter and cruise around the island and check this place out. Well, we can since we don't really have much wind to get us anywhere else. Right? Yep, let's just go explore. All right! Pretty cool stuff here. Um, our friend Amy gave us a book for free diving called Deep. Deep. And one of the sections in the book was about a guy who built his homemade submarine. And took customers for rides. And took customers for rides. He's gone as far as 200 and 2,660 2, feet deep in the thing. Which is really, really deep. Yeah. Super and deep. we're here in Roatan and all of a sudden we're like, you know, I think this is the place where that guy built his submarine. And so there it is. Yeah. And Carl is here. He's actually in uh, about to take down some customers in two hours to do a dive. But this thing is pretty impressive. Stoic people in my life. Right on Peter. They were having the time of their life. <laughs> you, just, you just couldn't tell. I know we've only been here for a couple days, but man, it is awesome. It's probably one of our favorites so far. I do like it a lot. The west end of Roatan. Super cool, just nice, calm anchorage. 
lots to do on this main little drag. Plus a lot to do at the island altogether. Yeah. It's a pretty good sized island with mountains. I didn't have any idea. Uh -huh. I was expecting a small, like being in Belize, another small island like that. Nope. It's pretty big. Yep. It's very like rainforest. Lots to do. Yeah. There are mountains and hills and yeah. real roads, real lots. cars. Lots of property for sale. So now we're going to try and figure out where we can dive tomorrow. Talk to yeah. a dive shop and get some some pointers. Jinx. Do you want me a margarita? I'm done. Um, and then that's one. Blue channel. Okay. What you got going on, honey? Oh, exciting stuff. Getting ready for our first solo dive in Roatan. It's kind of one of the leading dive sites in the world. And they're literally like just covered this entire side of West Bay. So uh, you and I are gonna go on a dive and practice and just get used to it. So we can do it more together, you and me. Diving! <laughs> you want the one with the compass? <laughs> Alright baby, you ready? Okay, so we're gonna go in together, go to the ball, surface check, and then go down. Ready? Awesome. That was really fun. God, that was great. Yeah, that was a good dive. Of course, the GoPro quit within the first three minutes. Yeah, it's okay. But we saw a turtle on the dive. We yeah. went down to 80 feet. Down there for about 45 minutes. 45 minutes. Our first dive off of the dinghy. Mm -hmm. oh, good. Great stuff. It was really easy, though, Beautiful because dive. Like, just this whole stretch here on the west end of uh, Roatam. There's 300 choices. There's what? 300 choices. There's 300 choices. But they're nice little dives. Done moving? <laughs> Done moving. Okay. Um, we went down to the 80 feet, like I said, off to a wall, and then just worked our way back up the fingers of the, um, off the reef. It was amazing. Roatan was easy to relax at. Not that we had a choice with zero winds we were experiencing, but what a place to be stuck in. We spent the next few days at this peaceful island just absorbing beautiful sunsets, enjoying some amazing home-cooked meals with the tasty tuna we had landed on our way in, and of course we spent plenty of time in the pristine waters exploring just a fraction of what this diving mecca had to offer.
Join us next week for a whirlwind of an episode where we set off on what turns out to be a monster passage from Honduras to Colombia through amazing sunsets, seriously dangerous pirate waters, storms, midnight squalls, calms, dolphins, tears, maybe a breakdown or two. You get it. Cheers, everyone. Thanks a ton for watching. Yeah. Yep. It's been a wonderful sail and it is a beautiful sunrise. It's not working so well. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha